Well, breaking news tonight, Jamie. More disappointment for Taylor Swift fans as Ticketmaster cancels its public sale for the singer's upcoming tour. The company says the cancellation comes after, quote, extraordinarily high demands and insufficient remaining ticket inventory, among other things. The fallout after the website crashed during the pre-sale has lawmakers now questioning the state of competition for the ticketing industry and saying Ticketmaster is abusing its market power. CNN's Isabel Rosales joins us live right now from Washington, D.C. tonight. Okay, so Isabel, women across the country, mostly, got disappointed Tuesday with the pre-sales not really working and people getting blocked out, got disappointed Wednesday from another pre-sale getting blocked out, and now they're not going to go on sale tomorrow. How does this happen? Uh, right, an absolutely confusing and heartbreaking situation for Swifties who have been, frankly, waiting for this for four years since 2018 for Taylor Swift to take the uh, to take the live stage. This whole ticket fiasco it is causing bad blood between Swifties and Ticketmaster, and now even lawmakers are ripping the site. This is the biggest concert of my life. Taylor Swift's fans across the country in a state of desperation after the Ticketmaster website appeared to crash during the pre-sale for the singer's upcoming Eras tour. But not all the fans got lucky. Ticketmaster takes the $490 out of my account, but it like crashed. Best believe I'm still bejeweled when I walk in the room. The return of the pop star to the live stage causing turmoil, with lawmakers questioning the dominance of Ticketmaster as the country's largest concert promoter. Also arguing that the recent setback for the pop star's fans is only a symptom of a larger problem. Senator Amy Klobuchar in an open letter to Ticketmaster CEO saying she has serious concerns about the company's operations. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez taking to Twitter saying, daily reminder that Ticketmaster is a monopoly. Its merger with Live Nation should never have been approved and they need to be reined in. Ticketmaster's response, there has been historically unprecedented demand with millions showing up to buy tickets for Swift's tour. Didn't want the ticket prices to be over $20. Complaints about the company's monopoly power go back to 1994 when the rock group Pearl Jam filed a complaint with the Justice Department's antitrust division saying Ticketmaster has a virtually absolute monopoly on the distribution of tickets to concerts. The complaint was later dismissed. Yeah, and, and Molly, tickets are still available in the resale market, but, uh, well, look at this. <laughs> Woo, Atlanta, Georgia right there. One ticket, nearly $90,000. Arlington, 38. Tampa, Florida, $28,000. Molly, that's a house payment. I feel like that must Ugh. be a joke, but I know that you're not joking. That's actually what they are on some of these resale sites. Not okay, joking. so you laid it out really well, Isabel, about this history of yeah. frustration with Ticketmaster. Does it look like this new wave of criticism will actually result in anything? Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of these complaints are staying in the abyss that is uh, the Internet. The Department of Justice and many uh, state attorneys general, they made complaints, similar complaints about Ticketmaster for years, but yet they still uh, greenlit the merger that happened back in 2010 between Live Nation and uh, Ticketmaster. And, and Ticketmaster has just grown more dominant. Uh, despite the court filings from the DOJ saying that uh, Ticketmaster share would be over 80% among major concert venues. They still gave that the thumbs up despite these objections. So the bottom line here, Molly, is that um, this has all renewed calls from activists, from fans, from politicians to split up Ticketmaster and Live Nation, what they call a monopoly. But right now, no real action. Well, I guess we'll wait and see. No concert, I might say, would be worth 30000 a ticket or 89,000 a ticket. So unrealistic. Isabel Rosales, live for us tonight in Washington, D.C. Thank you.